This video shows how simple it is to use WMS to gather data and create an HMS model of a watershed near Park City, Utah. We will use the WMS Hydrologic Modeling Wizard to download data and to automatically build an HMS model. After the model is built using WMS, we will export it to an HMS file and run the model in the HMS interface. The first step in defining an HMS model is to define your project file name. After you have defined a project file name, you can define a coordinate projection to use in your project and then define the boundary of your model area. For this project, we will use the UTM projection with metric units. You can use the Virtual Earth Map Locator window to locate and then define your project boundary. For this simulation, we will select a watershed in Park City, Utah as the project area. Using WMS, you can download all the necessary data to delineate your watershed and compute hydrologic and geometric parameters from online data sources. There are tools to download elevation data, land cover data, aerial photographs, maps, and other images, vector-based land use and soil data, and other data that is useful in watershed modeling. WMS downloads, imports, and displays all the selected data for the model area you select. WMS uses a model called Topaz to compute the flow patterns in your watershed. This model is used to determine high flow accumulation areas where streams may form. After you have computed the flow accumulation locations using Topaz, select one or more outlet locations for your watershed model. In this model, we will define an outlet near a bridge passing over one of the streams. By doing this, we can use HMS to compute the hydrograph under this bridge during a large storm. After defining the outlet point, delineate the watershed by clicking on the Delineate Watershed button. When delineating the watershed, WMS computes all the geometric parameters necessary for running your HMS model. Select HEC HMS as the desired model and initialize the model data. Define a start and end time for your model simulation. This model will run for two days with a 10 minute time increment. WMS downloaded a land use grid and soil polygons. This spatial data will be used to compute a composite curve number for the watershed. Before computing the curve number, we must first join tables containing soil-specific information with each of the polygons in the soil layers and convert the polygons intersecting the watershed to WMS polygons in a soil-type coverage that can be used for computing the curve number. You can compute the curve number and other hydrologic parameters using the Compute GIS Attributes dialog. This dialog combines the information in the soil type coverage and the land use grid to determine an area averaged curve number value for your watershed. Comma delimited tables are available for download from Aquaveo's help pages that relate land use IDs to curve number values for various soil types. After the composite curve number is computed, WMS displays a report file that shows the various land use and soil combinations in your watershed with the details of the curve number computation. 
Another important hydrologic parameter computed by WMS is the time of concentration or the lag time. You can select from WMS extensive library of equations or you can define your own equation for computing the necessary time parameters for hydrologic modeling in your watershed. We will select the SCS method for computing the lag time in this model. After you have defined your watershed curve number and lag time, you can finish setting up your HMS model by defining the SCS curve number loss method and the SES transform for your HMS model. We will build our model using an SCS Type 2 100 year 24 hour storm. The standard design curve associated with this storm is included with WMS. You can use NOAA Atlas 14 to get the 100 year 24 hour precipitation value of 3.13 inches for this watershed in Park City, Utah. Fill in the precipitation depth in the HMS meteorological model window. The cleanup model button runs some common tasks that are often performed to clean up your display and check your model before running it. The model is cleaned up and no errors are detected in the HMS model. After completing the hydrologic model, you can save your HMS model and import your model into the HMS interface. Once you have imported your model into HMS, you can view or edit your model data and compute the results from your WMS model. HMS has a rich set of tools for viewing the hydrograph and other output from your hydrologic model.